guys, Arcade Adam here, back with another video, and in this one today, it's time, it's finally here. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge has been released, so I'm going to walk you through how to get it downloaded, installed on Steam, and then into LaunchBox, and how to integrate it with Omega and get some artwork. So let's get in. <laughs> It's the moment you all been waiting for. All right, guys. First step. Let's go get the game. Fire up Steam. Oh, we got an update. Of course. <laughs> uh, Steam is set to load in big picture mode automatically on Omega. Uh, or if you know if you're doing this on a different computer, it's no big deal. Go to the store. You can do it in big picture mode, or you can do. Um, uh, the regular mode, it doesn't really matter. I imagine it's in top sellers somewhere. There it goes. Hey, it's even on sale. And there we go. We got it. All right. So let's find the old buy button. And add to cart. And purchase for myself. And I agree. Purchase. There it is. Anyway, find your install button. <laughs> Go ahead and download, and let's get that going. Oh, there's an update scheduled for uh, Tohu Crisis. If you haven't tried this out, this is a indie game that is uh, a Lycan game, and it's for free right now. So I highly recommend checking that out. Oh wow, Shredder's Revenge is only 500 megabytes. Nice. All right, we're good to go. Let's click on it. And the important thing, I don't know if we can do it in big picture mode, but what we need is a shortcut. So let's exit out of Steam. I'll show you how to import it into LaunchBox. So exit big picture mode. Uh, get into regular Steam mode uh, after you exit big picture mode, and then you go into your library find the game there it is okay so find your game right click on it go to manage say add desktop shortcut there you go now the next thing you want to do is fire up launch box and I recommend making a steam library uh, wheel so a, a brand new wheel just for your steam games so uh, we already have a wheel that just launches steam and you can launch it that way and you've, you've already got that, so you're done. If you don't want to do artwork and you don't want any custom uh, art or anything like that, you can just go down to the Steam wheel, launch Steam, click Turtles, and you're done. That's fine. But if you want to add your own Steam games, I made a wheel called My Steam Library, and we can just drag it into here. So let me show you how to create that if you don't have My Steam Library. So uh, the, the easiest way would be to go to the Tools menu, import and then uh, you can do ROM files or you can do Steam games or whatever it doesn't really matter um, I like to just do manually add game because that gives you the most control so we'll do that and we'll say shredders revenge and then see where it says platform that's where you would add your new platform so you can add a brand new platform so I can say my Steam library 2 and it will make me a whole new platform, another wheel on here that says My Steam Library 2. I'm going to keep mine in My Steam Library. So I'm going to just leave it uh, without the two. And we can just leave Shredder's Revenge right there for now. Um, and then when we go to launching, this is where it wants your shortcut. So see, this is our Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge shortcut on our desktop. Um, if you already had your wheel created, you could have just dragged it over. But since we need to create our wheel, we need to do it this way. So you go down to the launching tab, hit browse, and then um, I'm not going to leave this icon on my desktop because otherwise it'll fill up. So I'm going to move this. I'm going to cut and put it in my Steam Games folder. Paste. You can leave yours on your desktop. I'm just this is just a cleanup step. So I'm going to close that. So now I'm in my Steam Games folder. 
We'll go to uh, date modified. It should be in there somewhere. Nope, didn't sort it for me. And I, yeah, where'd it go? Let me hit, oh, maybe I just hit, need to hit refresh. There it is, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So find your shortcut, hit open. So now it's just gonna launch that URL and basically you're done. So hit okay. And now in my Steam library, if I say I had a search term, I had turtles up here. So let's close that. And let's go find the game because right now it doesn't have any artwork. So let me show you how to get some artwork. Uh, Toki, Super, where did it go? Shredder's Revenge, here it is. That's why it wasn't coming up when I searched Turtles. So Shredder's Revenge is not the full title even. So what you do to get your artwork is you can go back to Steam. You can click on uh, Shredder's Revenge and you wanna go to the store page. Uh, and you can do this in your browser too. So you just gotta find the original Steam store page and you want to right click copy page URL that's very important because the next step we go back to launchbox we can right click the game and if you're on Omega this is a plugin this is for launchbox is something called steam metadata downloader so you go ahead and click that paste your store page URL this is what you copy to the clipboard so you know if you look at this it's as simple as finding it on the store and hit download and now this takes a few seconds so you should wait you know five or six seconds um, and then you can go ahead and right click and um, refresh if that's in here or I like to hit F5 on the keyboard or the other thing you can do is click on another game and then click back on Shredder's Avenge and it should see now we've got all the artwork and if I hit F5 here it even names it correctly. See, now I have the whole name, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Shredder's Revenge. And if I click on edit, let me make this full screen for you guys. So you can see all the artwork. If we go check images, there's 19 images in here now. We've got an arcade marquee. We've got the clear logo. We've got screenshots. Like we're all set. And it even downloads the video. So you've got that, you've got everything you need for all the artwork in Big Box. So now when you load up your machine, if you go to your My Steam wheel, let's go into Big Box. All right, and if we go up to My Steam wheel, I don't even think I added artwork to that yet. Yeah, it's just a white text for right now. And what it does to pull content, it just pulls a random video from something already installed. So we'll head in there and we'll find Turtles. So these are all my Steam games that I've downloaded and configured. And look, you've got the artwork, you've got the video, you're good to go. Now there's one last step to do configure this, and that's if you're on Omega, you want to use X Arcade X Input, because this game probably uh, requires that to get four player support. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll exit into um, back into Launchbox. All right, let's go find our game again. My Steam library. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. Oh, I gotta get some artwork for Miami Cruise. Uh, I, there it is. And we're gonna edit again. We're gonna go to additional applications. You can remove this or leave it. I like to remove this. All it does is send you to the Steam store page um, as an additional application. So we're gonna call this X input. So you're adding additional apps. We're gonna to browse to XArcadeX input. It's over here in the tools folder, shortcut, or it's inside of Launchbox Tools. Down at the bottom, go into XArcadeX input, XArcadeX input, and then you find the EXE that's named the same thing. And then you need a command line. I'll put this in the description if you need to copy and paste. It's dash dash skip dash UI. All it does is hide the uh, startup box from you. And <laughs> you guys can't see this, it's behind me, but um, one of my buddies on Steam just started playing Shredder's Revenge. It's getting thick, guys, out there. Let's get going. We gotta hurry up and join the fun. <laughs> so we wanna make sure you click automatically run before main application. Hit okay. 
and we're almost done. We got one more. So add another application. Kill X input. Browse again. You're already in the right folder. Click the kill X input exe. Run after main application and hit OK. And we're done, guys. This is it. I, I mean, you saw me. This is me doing it live. I haven't, you know, edited anything out. There's X input when we hit play. And the game should fire up. And uh, I'm on a remote, you know, recording session for you guys to show you how to do this. But um, it should still work through my keyboard once the game loads. I'll show you what's going on. Damn, that was annoying. I hope so, anyway. Oh, and it is. Hey, look at that. Okay, so guys, on first launch, I was not able to use XArcadeX input. Um, so heads up on that. you got to launch it and then restart it. At least that's my experience. But now you can see the dead giveaway. See the Y button? A and the B, it's behind actually my head right now. It's, it's, tell, it's giving you prompts as if there's an Xbox controller plugged in. So now... Uh, for players craving a harder challenge, limited lives. Oh yeah, so this is the true arcade experience. And so now it, I'm gonna head over to. Actually, no, I can do it from here. I'm gonna try to fire up four players. So let's do start game. We'll do chill just because we're testing. Oh, they're showing you how to play. Okay. So you do left and right bumper plus Y B or X and Y, I should say. And that's why I love, love to use uh, XArcade X input is because the button prompts will match what's on your control panel. And if you have LED blinky, it's even going to match up the color sometimes. So I'm going to see if I can hold this to skip. Yep, so I'm holding start to skip. So, okay, so here. It, oh, so I can. Oh, that's so cool. Is you can pick. Each person can pick their character. And so, so now if I hit two, three, and four, I should get. Two, three more players so I'll be Michelangelo player two and that's I'm trying to remember the keys R for up so I'll be April player three Raphael player four Donatello <laughs> now we're cooking with gas all right so we're good to go there so uh, now I just got to remember all the action keys actually I'll do it on the control panel just to get the game started one second There we go. Guys, we're in. This is so cool. All right, I can hold the skip, so I'm holding start. There we go. Yep, that works. Oh, that must be the first boss. All right, here we go. All four players, let's give them a test. <laughs> Pop and smoke. All right, player one. Oh, I love how they show you who's who. So there's my player one. Attack, super attack, jump, bumpers. Oh, yes, taunting. Ah, that's awesome. Where's my player two? Is April. Here we go. Oh, we're all set. Yes, player three. Yep. <laughs> Let's play the game, boy. Oh, my God, that's awesome. Yes. <laughs> we got four players, boys. X Arcade X inputs working. I just needed to do the controls test on the old arcade. I will in the uh, end of the video. I'll I'll do a, sh a wide shot of my arcade playing this game. But uh, yeah, so heads up on the first launch. X Arcade X input may not work, so all I got to do is close the game and launch it again. I did notice Steam popped up like a little controller ID box. So now let's hit start. Yep, and then there's your options. Let's return to main menu. Yep, I want to exit the game. And if I hit start again, I should be able to exit. And it dumps me back into LaunchBox. So that's it, guys. We're good to go. Shredder's Revenge. That's how you down, you know, buy the game, download it, get the artwork, get in LaunchBox, do X input, four-player support. I'm going to test it by plugging in two more Xbox controllers to see if I can do local six-foot or six-player. Because that's supposed to have it. You saw there's six players across. 
So uh, I'm going to get started on that, play some games. I'll see you guys online. Let's try some online stuff. Let's uh, <laughs> get some battles going. <laughs> this is going to be a sweet game. Dude, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm super excited. I got to go, man. I need to play this thing. Do the YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Look in the description for those uh, commands we had to use on X input. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.